I love group offers, the way they drive even better success for clients with the hive mind mentality, the ability to buy back my time so I'm not stuck on dozens of exhausting one-to-one -one calls every day and expanding the impact that I'm able to create. I truly love the group experience, but it may come as a surprise to you that my very unpopular opinion is that not everyone is ready for them, nor does every business require a group program to be successful. Now, after 13 years in business, I've watched many trends come and go, one of which has been this belief that group offers are the end all be all. But the truth is your business needs to have certain things in place in order to successfully build and sell a group program that drives rave worthy results. Results. So sure, maybe building memberships have become all the rage, but is this actually the right move in your business? And yeah, year-long masterminds are incredibly powerful, but the last thing you want is a group of people all complaining and asking for refunds because your business wasn't set up to drive results with a mastermind. So let's get real. Welcome to the Business Real Talk Podcast, where you'll learn straightforward and simple ways to scale your business, and we're keeping it real. I'm your host, Naza Javaria, an 18-year marketing expert and the founder of Next Level Up CEO and the Easy Yes Method. I'm also a wife, a mom of three, and a real talk strategist. On the Business Real Talk Podcast, we'll dive into how you can disrupt your industry, create a pipeline of premium clients, and how to scale your revenue without scaling your time. If you're ready to dive straight into how you can use my easy yes method, I want to invite you to check out my free mini series that breaks down how you can replace all of your sales and marketing efforts with just one Netflix inspired client acquisition system that turns cold leads into raving fans in seven days. Go check it out at easyesleads.com. I want you to leave this podcast with business strategies that are straightforward and timeless. So let's get real. Now, hey, hey, and welcome back to the Business Real Talk. On this episode, we're diving deep into what it looks like to create a rave-worthy group program, the type that makes people sing your praises across the internet and to anyone who will listen, and why really creating rave-worthy experiences are the key to a successful business, whether that's working one-to-one -one or in a group opportunity. Now, I want to keep it real because you know that's what we do here, and I want to start it out with this cold, hard truth, the real talk that you know I'm going to give to you. And it starts with this perspective shift. Consistent and rave worthy client results are the key to your success. And this is the key premise to how you create a rave worthy group program that will drive incredible results for your clients without needing to be fully dependent upon you, that sells easily and consistently without a big fancy launch. And it gives you back your time so you can serve and impact more people with a life changing transformation. So the question we need to start this episode off with is. Is your business set up to drive rave worthy results in a group setting? It doesn't matter if you already have a group program and you want to ensure that it's getting the best results possible, or if you're looking to launch your first group program, we need to ensure that three things are in place. So here's a quick quiz. Number one, do you have consistent client results? That means does your current program get your clients consistent results? What most people overlook is that the one-to-one -one model has a built-in safety net. It gives the facilitator the ability to operate reactively. They can lead and direct the process as it happens, which means client results are easier to obtain. So having results in hand ensures that you're more likely to drive success for clients in a group environment, and it makes it easier for you to sell your group offer. The second thing is, is there actually demand for your work? Yes, everyone wants you to think that if you build it, they will come. But demand doesn't actually work that way. And the key to not launching an offer that flops is ensuring that there's demand for a group offer first. That means if you don't have people wanting to sign up to work with you one-to-one, -one, or it's difficult to be able to sell a intensive that you've created, the likelihood of you now creating a group offer and everyone comes running is not that likely. The reality is creating demand comes down to the messaging and positioning that we create first that allows people to say, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I need. And then the offering comes second because the offering is just the solution to the demand we've created. Now, the third and final piece of the puzzle is a documented process. Now, I alluded to this already, but one-on-one -on -one is a reactive process. People don't need a process in order to get results. They can, act in the moment. And often coaching is led by the client rather than the facilitators. But 
Whether you're a service expert, a coach, or a high-end consultant, the same remains true. You need a proven and documented process that drives a result repeatedly when you're operating a group offer. Now, as a bare minimum, these are the things I let people know that they should have in place before operating a group program. Now, I'm gonna clear the air because I posted on social media about this yesterday and we had a lot of responses around this. And the reality is, can you be successful without those things in place? Yes. Do I believe that you should go that route? No. And the reason behind that is just because it can be successful doesn't mean that we wanna set our business up for us to have to like, move backwards. Oftentimes the most important factor that I think is getting missed, sure, you might be able to have a really successful launch without those three things in place. Are you going to be able to drive success for clients in your program? That becomes less likely because without a proven process and without you actually knowing and understanding how you're getting your clients those results and having those documented results, the reality is you're going to be running around with like a chicken with your head cut off trying to figure things out. And that's not fair to your prospective clients. And so many people talk about beta programs. Why don't you just launch a beta program? And beta programs aren't bad, but again, you're still testing something that's never been done before in an environment where there's a lot of things that can go wrong. I'm a huge believer in sustainable success. And that means setting yourself up for success that isn't you constantly chasing your tail, trying to fill that problem. So let's jump into now what your program actually needs to be successful. With all of that out of the way, I want you to understand what needs to be there for your group program to ensure those client success so that you actually have raving fans. Now, a few years ago, I had a client who came to me and she said that while her group program was doing well, it was exhausting for her. So instead of buying back her time, she was just diverting it. She had traded in a time-consuming one-to-one support for a shiny group offer. The problem was her clients were still dependent upon her to get results. And that meant that either she had to work twice as hard or she just had to accept that people weren't going to be getting the same results as they were before. But her coach kept saying to her in the background that that's okay, you just need to hire a support staff to help. So she did. She had multiple co-coaches, a success manager to help, and now her time was spent on managing the team and trying to answer the questions while also trying to be the face of the program. It was a shit show to say the least. And it's not to say that there's no way to successfully run a group offer. It just means that there's prep work involved, certain procedures in place, ones that ensure client success, that give you back your time without losing the magic of your work. So let me reiterate the most important factor to a successful, rave-worthy program and ultimately the success of your business for years to come is your ability to drive results, okay? I wanna make sure that we're on the same page with this. It's not fancy marketing, as said by the 20 plus year marketer. It's not a huge team. It's whether you can deliver life-changing results. That is what people are going to rave about. Don't believe me? In 2023 alone, for every new client that I worked with, that client would bring me one additional client on average without me marketing, without me selling. See, raving fans become advocates of your work. They become your best sales team ever. And it creates a cycle of success for you, for them, for everyone. So let's start with what I call the success formula, the ultimate guide to success for you and for your clients. Now I've said this before, but it bears repeating. I believe that there are three factors that drive client success. What you bring to the table, what they bring to the table, and what the program brings to the table. These are pivotal to a successful program, whether that's one-to-one -one or in a one-to-many environment. For me, I take these things so freaking seriously. It's the reason I get on calls with people before offering them a spot in any of my programs because I need to ensure that all three things are present and I can then drive them to which offer is best fit for them. It's a core component and one of my most sacred pillars in the EZS method about driving client results. And for years, I and many others were told that we needed to let go of that, that this way of thinking wasn't scalable, that we had to let go of this idea of prioritizing client results. And it sounds backwards when you hear it out loud, doesn't it? But it's true. What's not scalable or sustainable is actually not prioritizing these simple expectations. Look at companies like Amazon. Amazon makes retention, makes client actually being happy. It's number one most important factor. It builds it into everything that we do from the way that we're shown the reviews to the way that it creates the subscribe and save to the way that they have prime benefits. All of those things are built around driving results and creating retention. And the truth is most people in the online business world are more meticulous with their boundaries and parameters to success when they're working with clients one-to-one. -one. But when it comes to one-to-many, those parameters go out the window. 
look at it this way. Why are people so relaxed about who joins their group program? Meaning there's not a lot of expectations. And oftentimes people can join that program without any conversation at all. Yet if you were to work with someone one-to-one, almost always there is some sort of conversation that needs to be had in advance. Why do you think that is? Because we lose sight of results. We let our revenue take the lead and we put client results to the wayside. So we do launches. We create fancy sales pages. We let people join our programs willy-nilly. But it's time to change the game. If we want to create a program that's actually going to drive rave-worthy results and do so in a group setting, we need to define, optimize, and stick to those three pieces that I shared above. What do you bring to the table? That means what expectations are set of you? What do you need to lend to the process. This can be as tactical as you leading the weekly calls and more principle-based as you being responsible to facilitate the growth by keeping up with the shifts in the market. For example, I understand that my role is to synthesize, to direct, to lead the change with my clients. I'm not a coach. I give my clients step-by-step instructions. I synthesize their message, their strategy, and I help them create and develop the implementation plan that they then go and apply to their business. And tactically, that means that every single strategy call is led by me. And in my SBA program, that means that we have a methodical approach where myself and my clients go through a hands-on process of building their method. We allow for them to give me the information needed and then for me to distill that information down, pull out the innovation pieces that they need to build upon, and then that allows us to work together. There's a process built in that strategy that we have that ultimately allows me to do exactly what I'm meant to do, what I am meant to bring to the table in order to drive success. Then that leads us to what do they need to bring to the table? And hint, it's not just meeting some income requirements or the typical pre-qualifications that we look for, but it's what characteristics do they need to have in place? What expectations do you have of them in order for them to be successful? Because guess what? Not everyone should be able to join your program and be wildly successful. That's highly unlikely. There are certain things, certain qualifications, certain ideas and characteristics that a person needs to have in order to be successful. And if you have not taken the time to actually identify what those are, then you are essentially setting your business up to fail and asking that people should join and know that, hey, maybe you'll be successful and maybe you won't. So for my clients, they're go-getters. These are people who need to be motivated to take action. They're experts and they're people who hold a level of mastery to their work. And these are just to name a few. One of the reasons I get on calls is because I want to understand if they've naturally found the gap, even without them realizing it. If they haven't, and they just started this business because they want to make a ton of money, they're not a good fit for me. So on a tactical level, that means that I don't let people join my programs if they don't take responsibility of their client results, if they don't have a transformational-led motivation to what they're doing. And finally, it's about what your program brings to the market. This is a whole teaching in of itself, and I call this the 3M theory. A successful, sustainable program that's going to drive rave-worthy results will have three things in place. The model, the method, the mechanism. So let's start with the model. The model might be that you're deciding between using a cohort. So cohorts used to be the only way to sell a group offer, but this can be really taxing on the business owner and it keeps you in this unhealthy launch cycle. Now, rolling enrollment instead allows you to sell every day, quit live launches, fill as you go. But the downside is that most businesses don't actually know how to build in that accountability, that retention, or even the relationships within the process. So we personally combat this by building in certain checkpoints to drive those three factors without requiring cohorts. Things like accountability matchups in our SBA program, where we purposely connect people within the program so that they can not only hold each other accountable, but we actually drive strategic relationships on how they can actually leverage their relationships to create better results within the program. So personally, I teach my clients this rolling enrollment process because it marries perfectly with our evergreen bingeable sales system. Now, the second thing is method. Method drives everything. Your marketing, your sales, your delivery. The program is simply an application of your method. So whether you're working with clients one-to-one or in a one-to-many, your methodology remains the same and so will your programs. It drives the entire engine of your business. It's your method that actually allows you to create a high-value premium offer that drives results. And more importantly, methodology is what allows you to create a proactive program, one that has a solid process in place for a highly repeatable success. So what I mean by that is imagine 10, 15, 20 years from now, you decide that you're you're done with your business or you just want to retire and you want to be able to go about your life, but you don't want to end the work that you've done because it's so powerful. It's created such a massive and incredible shift in the market. Well, without a method, you're essentially handing that off 
willy nilly. <laughs> People don't actually know what to do, right? It, it really lives in, and stays with you. But when you actually have your methodology, you're able to create a process that isn't relying on you. The magic is no longer you, it's your method. And this can be really difficult for people at first because so often we make the magic about us, even myself included. When I first decided to create methodology, when I spent all of this time understanding the power behind our innovative gap methodology and doing this, it was a difficult process because prior to that, everything was relying on me. I was the magic. If I was not around, the magic was not around. And that becomes a very unsustainable way to grow a business. But when we understand that we can leverage and create a method that does the work for us, it allows us to expand beyond what we're currently possible to do. But more importantly, allows you to bring on the right support. It becomes this necessary and easily handoff because you now have this clear and repeatable method. Your clients are getting better results because there's a method behind the process, right? There's a way for you to allow them to go through much of their process in their own time or to be able to repeat it. So for us, for example, I know my clients can come back even after the program is done, go through the method, be able to gain success out of that because the method is built without me being the only sole source of magic, Okay. That is what we want to be able to create. Now, the third and final piece is mechanisms. And this is one of my favorite. It's the difference between trying to figure it out as you go approach and having the specific factors in place that drive results for your clients. These are the checks and balances that set people up for success. They give you the ability to damn near ensure their results. So where most people are creating features and benefits that are just meant to add an elusive value, results mechanisms are used as drivers to your client's success. So beyond just what they are, it's how they actually come about. So one of the most important aspects of a rave-worthy group program is knowing how to anticipate and resolve the fall-off points. It's like solving the gap in the actual delivery process. So for me, the example of this would be, I found that most people were struggling is to succeed in that program. They were trying to take the concepts and know how to take what they've learned, knowing how to apply that within their own business. This was the gap, right? My solution, and one of many of them, was that we created an implementation process that was uniquely specific to every single client. So the mechanism that we used is our implementation process. The process consists of three key pieces. Number one, my clients submit forms before every single call. And this helps us because it organizes their thoughts. It gives me the information that I need to accurately and efficiently support them. And it streamlines our call process while also allowing me to create this backend system so that I can identify future gaps. Because what happens is if people are submitting repeated questions that I'm seeing over and over again, I know that that means that I need to resolve that within the programming itself. So it's solving multiple problems with one singular thing. The second thing as part of our implementation process is that we give people one-to-one -one support in a group setting. So I don't do hot seat coaching. I don't believe it. I'm not a coach. I go through each person individually and we develop and work through their individual plan, but in a group setting. So not only does this ensure that they have exactly what they need, it gives them the ability to get answers to questions that they didn't even know that they had. It gives them a new perspective and solidifies an idea that may have needed support with because it's happening in a group environment where things are coming up around different aspects of things. Now, the third and final piece is the Facebook group. So we leverage our Facebook group as what we call applied implementation. So our private Facebook group serves a very specific role in success process. In between implementation calls, my clients actually come in and they screenshot conversations. They test the messaging we created or they gain validation on the strategy that we developed on the call. And this is just one of many results mechanisms that we put in place to solve the specific gaps with a strategic mechanism that literally damn near ensures results. This is the power behind actually having a results theory, having a process in place that is meant to create rave-worthy results. This is what business growth needs to look like, sustainable, successful, scalable business growth. And this is why I'm so freaking nutty over the EZS method, because it starts by understanding and developing your methodology, the way that you win the market and revolutionize the industry. It's not about competing for attention. It's about making your competition irrelevant and creating this inbound demand where clients are chasing you and happily paying without hesitation. But on top of that, we're developing your innovative gap methodology, which allows you to create a framework for the success that you're able to duplicate over and over again. So we do this through the innovative gap methodology, which allows us to target ready buyers and showcase your innovative approach as the only solution to high-end buyers. This step alone allows my clients to 5 to 10x their prices and have clients lining up to work with them. 
Next, we go about actually applying that methodology into their marketing and sales. So I mentioned that, but it's really about once they have their method, how do we apply this into everything else they do? So the second piece of that puzzle is how we actually automate conversions in the pre-selling process using the Netflix effect. This is done using our bingeable decision system, our innovative approach that focuses on accelerating the natural decision process through a proprietary sales psychology technique. It combines that with the power of bingeability to make saying yes to you the only logical solution. This step turns your cold leads and lurkers into hot paying clients within hours or days. So you can focus on serving clients instead of trying to convince leads. And the last piece of the puzzle is our pure profit strategy, essentially what we shared here today. This is where you leverage proactive programming to set your clients up for world-class results at scale so that you can leverage your two best and most profitable client sources, retention and referrals. This is what the EZS method is all about. And it's why I am so passionate about developing programs and creating delivery processes that actually create rave worthy results. So whether that's one-to-one, -one, whether that's in a group environment, the key to this is to really understand that there are key underlying factors that drive success for your clients. And I hope that you walk away from today's episode understanding some of those key things, understanding that there's three pieces of the puzzle that make it who's responsible for those success of your clients. And then also understanding the three M theory and how actually having your method, having your mechanisms and having the right business model of how you actually deliver on that group program is ultimately the, what drives success for your clients. So if you want to learn how we can help you leverage the EZS method within your business, as always, there's two ways to take a next step. The first one, hop on a call with me. This is a no pressure call where we're sitting down, we're looking at your client acquisition, I'm going to share with you exactly where I see the biggest gaps and opportunities and share with you how the easiest method can be plugged into your business to help support your growth and create a movement with your message so that you can change the lives of millions. And if you're ready to book that call with me, head on over to easiestleads.com backslash call. But if you want to learn a little bit about our method or you're new around here, welcome. I'm so excited to have you head on over to easiestleads.com where you can go check out our three-step method to how we actually use the Netflix effect to get leads to sell themselves. This is a bingeable mini series that shows exactly how this method works and head on over to easiestleads.com to check that out. As always, we love and appreciate if you would go rate and leave a comment about what you thought about today's episode. And if you've enjoyed today's episode and you find someone might be really benefiting off of this, I'd love for you to be able to share that. But until next time, here's to keeping it real. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of the Business Real Talk podcast. If you're serious about accelerating your growth, doubling or tripling your revenue and going from the best kept secret to the only and incomparable solution in your industry, then be the first to listen to each episode by hitting subscribe and sharing with a friend. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Next Level Up CEO to learn more about how you can declutter your marketing and leverage the easy yes method in your business to focus on results and create a truly scalable and sustainable business that does doesn't suck up all of your time. To get a sneak peek at my proprietary methodology that has allowed my clients to double or triple their revenue, go check out my free mini series that shows you exactly how you can replace all of your sales and marketing efforts with just one organic and evergreen client acquisition system that brings in premium clients on repeat. Go to easyyesleads.com to access the mini series now. And as always, stay tuned for next week's episode on the Business Real Talk. Until then, keep it real.